the modified query earlier i was writing the optimal query or optimized query here i am writing it as a modified query will be basically there are three factors this is the original query i'll be discussing every component separately this is the original queue this factor is basically related to the relevant docs or rel docs this is basically a factor is basically related to the non relevant docs now if we compare this with the earlier exam uh, earlier i mean theoretical theoretical uh, formula of procio what we are saying is what what we are seeing is basically this is same thread of the relevant document is replaced by the original query the same thread of the non -rele uh, relevant set of relevant document here while performing this difference is remaining the same together with the non relevant the same thread of the non relevant document but note that or what is that we are actually incorporating three parameters here alpha beta and gamma so what are they so they are basically some weights that will be applying on this different factors so note that this is a vector this is again a vector this is again another vector so there are three vectors so that theoretically we are just computing their difference and subtracting them uh, adding that difference with the relevant uh, centered of the non relevant document here instead of considering the straight forward the raw centroid we can actually tune or we can actually play with the factors that are involved or that we want to uh, i mean we want the system to contribute in the final uh, formulation of the modified query in order to tune that we are actually applying this three basically parameters so again just to sum things up q0 is the original query note that q0 here q and here q are different this is basically the keyword keyword query so let's say q0 equals to no let's write it in the same way so q0 equals to say Q one, Q two. Okay. Here, he, this is basically the vector of Q zero. Q zero. This Q n is a modified query, but here it is basically the vector of that modified query. here this is dr is a set of known relevant document dnr is set of known non relevant document now that means this is basically based on the uh, relevant judgment or based on either relevant judgment but we will not be actually using the relevant judgment let's not write that so these are basically based on the relevance feedback relevance based on the feedback we are selecting this tr and dn and alpha beta gamma are some associated weights respectively for the original query the set of relevant document and set of non relevant document which are basically some weights corresponding to this three vectors note that again i am repeating this is a vector this is a vector this is a vector now so the new modified query how will it be looking like 
so it will be looking like something okay with an example i'll be showing in a couple of minutes so uh, to get a good modified query in qm we should set high values for beta and gamma if we have a large set of judged document because as i have said this is basically the belief of the corresponding set let's say for a given query q there are say uh, so first of all say in the collection there are say uh, say 10000 docs for q let's say there are 100 rail docs and just non relevant document is let's say 100 these two are based on the relevance judgment uh not relevance judgment but relevance feedback that we are selecting now note that in the collection c is basically the collection containing 10000 10000 document it might be the case that there are actually say 200 relevant document in the set in in the collection but 100 of them are basically selected by the relevant feedback method so out of 200 so if we consider 200 is the total number of relevant document present for q the total number of non relevant pres uh, document present for q will be what basically 9800 the rest of the documents out of this 9800 only 100 are non relevant document that is being judged and out of this 200 the I mean, actual relevant document only 100 are being marked or judged so you can consider we can see that only half of the relevant documents are considered as actual relevant document actually considered here the computation of the centroid and for here although there are 9800 number of uh, actual non relevant document we are only considering 100 of them so we are considering a very small fraction of the total non relevant set okay so in case we have a large set of non relevant and no non relevant doc document then we should be applying a higher weight to this two higher weight means higher belief that means we believe that this set is exhaustive this set is exhaustive in case we know almost all the relevant document in the set we should be setting a higher value of beta a higher value of beta if let's say we only know definitely about say only say one tenth of the total number of relevant document that are there in the collection we should be setting a less value for beta that is the belief that belief on this set of relevant document is quite less because out of say m number of total non total non relevant document we might be having say m by 100 m by 10 number of non relevant document based on this relevant feedback so rest of the 9 by 9 m by 10 relevant documents are never seen or they are not actually participating in the computation of this uh, centroid of this relevant set so again repeating we should be setting a high weight of beta and gamma if we have a large set of judged documents and positive feedback is actually more valuable than the negative feedback can you say why why the contribution of this 
should be considered more than the contribution of this. Anyone? The reason is for a given query, the relevant document is expected to be the set of relevant documents. All relevant document is expected to be relevant documents will be expected to be on the same topic. That's why Q is um, the documents are uh, topically related to Q. I hope you remember the topical relevance. Now, for Q, the non relevant document will be of different topics. So, let's say again, let's say the collection is, say, Wikipedia. And in the Wikipedia, if we search with, say, uh, say, German football. Uh, team, the known relevant document, the actual relevant document for this query is a set of, say, maybe, maybe 10 maximum document. So, one Wikipedia article will be dedicated to German football team. There will be some related topics like uh, East Germany, West Germany, the West Germany, uh, uh, the, the, the team, the, the football team of West Germany, football team of East Germany, then maybe some, some, some related articles like when West Germany uh, won the World Cup, some articles on that. So only those documents are basically contribute, I mean, are expected to be contributing in this TR. But the DNR is basically all the rest of the documents and this rest of the document can be uh, say i don't know say we could say covid 19 it can be say uh, say the say Taj Mahal. and it can also be say west bengal so considering the large diversity of the collection the non-relevant document can be of different categories, different topics. There is no one specific topic. But note that for a query queue, the relevant documents are of the same topic or related topic. Like German football team, it can be German football team, West Germany football team, East Germany football team, West Germany winning World Cup and so on and so forth. All will be related to German football team or somewhere near, but all this DNR will be of different categories. Now, if we look at their vector representation, so maybe the actual relevant documents are here and the non-relevant documents are might be here, might be here, might be here, might be here. That is, they might, they uh, can be and is actually will be spreaded across the collection. I mean, spreaded throughout the vector space. So that's why positive feedback, as it is indicative of a same topical thing, is more useful. Because as you can see, if we calculate, if we consider all these documents or a set of some documents from here, the centroid will be just nowhere. It can be the it can be the situation that the centroid will be somewhere very near to this this centroid. So that's why negative feedback is not that much useful. So again, earlier I have said that beta and gamma we should be setting with high value if we have a large number of judge document. Now I am saying with this statement, I am saying that we should be setting beta. Uh, you should be setting uh, the value of yeah beta to, to a value greater than gamma 
and in most of the cases the value of gamma is set to a very low value all right now the third point in this modified query is a very interesting one we can set actually we will be setting not can we will be setting negative term weights to zero because negative weights does not make any sense in the vector space model what does it mean the meaning will be clear with the following example 